What's poppin', Jimbo? Alrighty. Well, the box is quite um, in good condition. So there's a box inside a box with foam attachment in there. There's the inside of the box. Got some Allen keys with it and lifetime guarantee of the Grover Lock machine. Oh, look at that. <coughs> oh. Jesus. Oh, nice. Wow. This is the back of the neck. It's all matte finish. Um, string through body. Indonesia, there's the locking tuners. I don't know if the locking tuners are there, there. I think it's the 18 to 1 ratio Grovers. Marks appear on <laughs> Marks appear on it pretty easy, but it looks good. Severely out of tune. Looks like it's got 10 gauge strings on it, so I'm gonna restring it. Actually, no, I'm gonna chop these strings on it, so we'll move position and I'll show you how it sounds. Alright, so for the demonstration, um, we're using my <coughs> Crank Crankenstein, which I've just kind of black faced and then put a Marshall logo on it. But these are my settings the volume, which is like a, it's like a pre boost, I guess. That's on. Seven, presence is on nine, sweep is on six, bass is at 12 o'clock, mid range, you can see all those, and then there's my clean settings. Um, I'll be doing a clean demo as well, but uh, the clean channel on these aren't the greatest, and I've just got a Shure SM57 running through just a custom made cabinet I've got. <coughs> and then for effects, so it's running from the solar into Maxon OD 808, so that's just the settings I've got on that, just the typical, uh, you know, metal settings. Um, got a MXR carbon copy, so there's those settings, Holy Grail Reverb, Neoclean Chorus, and then it's just got a noise suppressor as well, so yeah, this is how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you.
quick playthrough of the Solar S.2 S. Ah, fuck! Solar S2.6C, that's the one. You should get one because it feels really fucking good. Peace.